Illegal mining, popularly known as Galamse, is currently one of the major menaces in the country, destroying many water bodies and costing government billions of dollars. Although government has made some efforts to address it, the menace still persists. Ghana, according to the country environmental analysis by the World Bank, loses an estimated $11 billion annually as the cost of environmental degradation with illegal mining as a main contributor. The study points to the fact that environmental degradation and unsustainable natural resource use pose a major risk to the future economic growth of the country. Delivering the keynote address at the maiden edition of the Environmental Sustainability Summit organized by the Business and Financial Times, Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources Benito Ogusubio revealed that government will in the coming days introduce speedboats and river guards to clamp down on recalcitrant entities who are still polluting the country's water bodies by illegal mining activities. With the forest areas that is a bit i would say easy because uh, we have in place already our forestry commission and then with this personnel that is the forest guards uh, who are there to police our forest reserves yes but then that of the river bodies that's where we had we have a little bit of a challenge because what happens is that you go chasing them on the rivers and then uh, they know how to swim Secondly, they will just run away and you can't chase them on the river. So uh, under the leadership of our minister, uh, we've come up uh, with a project where we will, we've actually procured a number of speedboats. Uh, these are shallow-use speedboats so that where it is possible uh, for us to uh, use the speedboats uh, to monitor the rivers we will deploy them and then they will be used on them. Yes, uh, they are in and I know within a week or two uh, they are going to be launched. Uh, across the, uh, they are going to be launched. Uh, these will be on our major rivers, you know, the Pra and the Ofin, the Ankubra, the ones that are, uh, I would say, motorable, you can use mot a motorboat uh, to ply and monitor them. Those are the ones uh, we will be using them on. While highlighting the objectives of the summit, Chief Executive Officer of the BFT, Dr. Godwin Akwe, called for more to be done to curb the plastic waste menace in the country. The environment is one of the most important facets of our very existence here on Earth. Oblivion to this fact will cost us dearly in the immediate future. Quite recently, we have been recording some high levels of rainfall and unproportionate flooding. I say this because years ago, we could have had rains continuously for hours, but there is minimal flooding. However, in recent times, there is virtually floods occurring any time there is moderate to heavy rains. I believe this is due to climatic changes but more so the activities of human beings. I'm sure we have all seen the pollution in the Odor River, in the Kole Lagoon. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we know that plastic is choking and killing us. Scientific research tells us that it has some carcinogenic properties. Why are we not investing in plastic recycling to take care of the abundant plastic waste around. Then gradually introduce biodegradable packaging material and then later burn it out completely.